Hi, welcome back. This is Jonathan Gardner. We're taking the next step in the calculator project. The last step was we needed a problem definition. And if you wanted to try your hand at doing this project, I recommend you not watch this video until you sent me or talked about, at least with your neighbor, about what kind of problem you would try to solve with your calculator project. In this video, I'm going to cover the problem that we're going to try to solve specifically with this project, and then we're going to move into the design phase, talking about what we should do for the design. So the problem that I've decided on is we're going to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And we're going to use a Python-like syntax. Oh, we're also going to have parentheses, right? So you can put stuff in parentheses. And the numbers will all be floats. So we'll just use floats. We won't use integers at all. All right. Uh, we're not going to use rational numbers. We're just going to use floats. Although it would be interesting to use rational numbers. Anyway, uh, another thing is I wanted to allow it to define uh, simple functions. Obviously, these functions could only add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So this problem, the reason why I settled on this problem is because this project is a lot different than most of the projects I've worked on in my career. There is not a customer out there that is looking for this product. Well, there is a customer, but it's a different kind of product he's looking for, and the customer is you, the viewer. I'm trying to design this problem in a way that'll expand your understanding of computer science and really get you to think uh, what a computer actually does. And so this problem set here, I believe, will expose some of the programming aspects that typically you don't see in your projects. Especially, we're going to be designing as part of this project an interpreter. Um, it's going to take uh, text, that is some kind of program code with some language. We're going to parse that text, turn it into an abstract syntax tree, and then we're going to execute that code. And that's the reason why I have the define simple functions as part of this project. So that's kind of why I chose this problem and the customer that I'm trying to satisfy with this thing. So the next step is to go into the design phase. Okay. Now, if you have your own problem definition and you would like to work on that one, that's fine. And I'll, I'll support you in that. We can talk about how we can iterate on that particular calculator project. If there is actually a calculator you want to write, I can't imagine that there is a business case or a use case for a calculator project that isn't satisfied by one of the many tools out there. But if there is something that you think there is a need for, we can go ahead and talk about that and either find an alternative or we can start working on your implementation of it. But uh, for the purpose of this video series, we're going to run with this problem definition. So the design phase, there's two kinds of designs that we need. We need one is the use cases and the other is the architecture. Okay, the use cases will cover what the users will do, how they'll interact with the system. And I have a little bit of an idea on how the user is going to use the system. You might have a different idea. Um, and I'm more than welcome to, more than open to different ideas that you might have. So if you have ideas, send them in. And the second thing is the architecture. And by architecture, I mean like what code are we going to write? How is the program going to actually run? How is the code going to be organized? Things like that. Both of these questions need to be answered, at least in part, before you can start writing the prototype. So this is the phase where I want you to think about how you intend to implement this calculator and what it is exactly you want that calculator to do. All right, so for the next week or so, take some time, think about this, put it in writing, send that writing to me. You can talk to me on Discord. You can just comment in the, in the comments below. Uh, you can find my email as well. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to reach out. Guys, I hope you uh, take the time to experience this calculator project and go through this whole process of, of software design. And uh, after we're done with this, hopefully we might even have some design discussions as part of this. Uh, if you guys want to do like a, you know, a Twitch session or something like that where we can talk about this. Let me know. We'll find a time. We'll hook up and, and broadcast it. So guys, take, have a great day. Take care and bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video on the Theory of Python by Real Physics. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell. Like and share this video. You can find me on Discord or support me on Patreon. Links are in the description below. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.